Hello, my name is Nation. We are playing the eagerly awaited Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I haven't watched any videos of this at all, so it's going to be an extreme learning curve. Hopefully the game doesn't crash on me this time around. I haven't watched any videos at all, so this is all a new experience. Once I figure out the game, Brayden will have hey, his go at it. Hey, came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. Um, oh, wow. Great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really okay, authentic, that's cool. I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head which we think could be authentic, then again it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. Okay, you see one at a time. To make go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Right. Yeah, I wasn't joking okay. about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Alright, alright, alright. This is gonna be insane. I think I get it. Uh, okay, so where's it coming from? I don't even know the, the animatronic's name at all. I don't like that you have to actually click on him. Day one, that's it? That was like five minutes. Whoa. Oh god, what's gonna happen? What is this gonna be? Are you Freddy, Dada? Yeah, I'm Freddy. I saw the purple guy! Oh man. Oh, where's he taking me to? I don't know. Where is he taking me? Mice running around. Uh oh. Oh Jesus! There's the purple guy. Okay. That was awkward. That was freaky. Purple guy's 
Alright, got my sanity juice. Oh, yay, it crashed. No. Well, we're back. Alright. There he is. Information on how to handle slash climb Hi. into slash climb out of mascot costume. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and there he is. <laughs> pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits. Okay, I don't accident slash injury slash death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound This It's an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for shit, maximum shit, shit, entertainment shit, shit. slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress go? the animatronic part around Where'd the go? sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic device is oh. fixed. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. That was great. I don't know who it was, Brayden. So are you just looking at the cameras and trying to figure out which ones are which? I mean, it seems like all you got to do is keep the keep those systems up and running. You just got to find them when depending on where they're at. Tom where? Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, I see him. I see him. Nope, I don't want to do that. Oh, God. I saw him! Which one was that? He's coming. He's coming in the vent. Wait, is Benson here like in this? Uh, uh, yes, Britain. Oh. 
He can stay right there for all I care. Alright, where's he going? Yes, thank you, Brayden. keep doing that. I don't need to do that unless, uh, unless something goes down. Hi. Not sure what playing the audio does. I think it distracts him to, it makes him distracted so he can, so he goes over there. Hello. There's night two. Yeah! Not again. Oh, now you're Bonnie. Yep, now I'm Bonnie. Let's go this way. Really hoping this answers a lot more questions than what than the one before. That's the headroom. Yep. Oh. Says follow me. Follow me. Now, what if I don't want to follow you? I like that he's kept this in here from the second one. That that's actually really awesome. Oh, there's Freddy. I ain't following you. I'm gonna... Uh-oh. No, I'm just staying there. Oh, you got me. You should go down. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper handling techniques. When using an animatronic as it is, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring lock located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments. Can you be quiet? Head and torso between I would the appreciate it if you did, Brady. You can move and see. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not hello. touch the spring lock at any time. Do not breathe on the spring lock, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out, as to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, Please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layout program in the animatronics or security system. This room is hidden to customers, invisible to animatronics, and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Oh god, ventilation. Okay, so I'm guessing the main objective is to... The... Hi, buddy. Well. Okay. Alright. That was killer. Alright, well, I'm going to have more gameplay videos of this coming up. Um, made it to night three pretty easily, and uh, things have heated up really, really fast. I don't quite 
understand how you're supposed to keep him out of your room um, doesn't the, those audio tracks don't really seem to give any real answer to how you're supposed to uh, stop him from getting to you unless you just stop him from getting in the vents if that's all you're supposed to do then yeah I'm just gonna keep a couple of the vents closed and just uh, just walk uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright, well. That was a blast. So that's video one. Uh, keep them coming. My name is Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in. and I greatly appreciate it. And this is a wild ride already.